Hi, I'm Angel Jang, and I'm the Curator of Collections of Study Room Initiatives at the UNM Art Museum. Right now in the upper gallery at the museum, we have a show titled Cottonwood Tassels, Gustav Bauman's Prints, Proofs, and Process. Today I'll be talking about the process of creating a woodcut print using Gustav Bauman's very own working materials. Woodcut printing involves three basic steps, drawing, printing, and carving, and Bauman was pretty exceptional for being a master at all three. So the first step is drawing. Um, first, you need to come up with a design that you want to be printed. In this case, Bauman was inspired by a cottonwood tree that he saw at Florence de Bell Bartlett's ranch in Al Qaeda, New Mexico, and he drew an initial sketch. If we look closely, you can see there are graphite lines and um, places where he's taken a, a pencil or a sharp edge to trace over this paper. He used these paintings to transfer to wood blocks by covering the backs of charcoal or uh, carbon paper, just anything that can transfer the image, and then laid that painting over the block and traced over it with something to transfer the image from the design to the block. He traced over this with that mark and delineated everywhere that he would want to carve away. So that's how we get from the painting, the design, to the next step, which is carving. Woodcut is a relief process, which means that the image that's being printed is everything that's left on the surface of, in this case, a wood block. So the artist is carving out everything that they don't want to show up in the print and the surface is what's holding the ink and then being printed onto the paper ultimately. He used basswood, which is a relatively soft wood, um, which gave him a lot of control over his carving, but he was also trained as a wood carver in Europe where he studied um, after doing his training in Chicago. His experience with wood carving really comes through with his wood blocks where you can see the skill he has with handling his tools, the skill he has with um, the material itself. The next and final step is printing, but for Bauman and many other artists, printing uh, was a more complicated, drawn out, and experimental process that first involves creating what we call proofs. So proofs are working materials, they're not finalized prints, um, but they're, they're what printers use to determine if the order of the inks is correct, if the blocks have been correctly carved. So they're, they're really used to test the image before um, committing it to the final product. In this case, we have two trial proofs up on display. Bauman was using multiple colors for both proofs, but experimenting with different shades for each one of them. So for example, in the first trial, he is using this more purplish, blue for the sky and a cooler pink for the trees compared to the more coral pink and greener sky for the second trial. Neither of these actually look like the final version, so between these two proofs and what ends up being addition, he decided to use um, an entirely different shade of blue and pink entirely. What really comes out when you compare the two is that during the process of creating proofs and experimenting with these prints, Artists are figuring out what works together, how the inks are laying over each other, and deciding where they want to move on to next.